advice I heard when I was growing up in the game and I still hear today is hew parallel to the bed of the table, hew horizontal, keep the cue as low as possible. While this surface logic definitely makes sense, there are problems attached to it. The first issue is that it's only possible to have your cue parallel to the bed of the table, horizontal, if we're playing maximum topspin on the cue ball and the cue is touching the cushion. Here you can see the cue is horizontal. But as soon as we have a, a little bit of margin of error of height above the cushion, then or centre ball or screw back, this cue starts pointing down slightly. So in one sense, it's not possible to cue horizontal, cue parallel anyway. But even if it was, what's the danger? What's the problem with keeping the cue as low as possible? There are two main problems with this. The first one is that I see so many club players compromised in their delivery by having the cue too close to the cushion. So that when on delivery the cue gets fatter, it gets closer to the cushion, or a small cueing error happens, the cue gets closer to the cushion. And if you look at the bridge hand, the cue is floating out of the bridge hand. And you hear this a lot in a club environment. The cue hitting the cushion. You may have even heard that in your own game. That, of course, leads to zero accuracy. The other problem with queuing as low as possible is it unties people on screw shots. Look, <clears throat> I struggled with this for years as a teenager because I listened to this advice and I tried to apply it with screw shots. Keep the bridge hand as low as possible. But if I do that, there's no, if I keep the cue as low as possible to the cushion and I want to play a screw back, look at my bridge hand, there's no V. There's no V at all for the cue to travel through. It becomes flat, there's no accuracy. So it's appropriate with Screwback to adopt an attitude of go as low as I can, keeping a good V on the bridge hand, and then just lift the back of the cue up slightly. And that gives me my Screwback position with a good bridge hand V, and it's appropriate to be to have a, a gap between the cue and the cushion. So what I recommend to players is the chalk test. If someone's at 20 break standard, for example, I'll often just suggest that they have their cue a chalk height above the cushion, or maybe 10 millimeters more. That gives them freedom and a margin of error to make cueing errors and not for the shot to be undone completely. A very common reason or cause for the bridge hand to lift when we play shots is the cue's too low to the cushion. We drop the cue down into the cushion for reasons mentioned before, and the bridge hand tries to recover the situation, maintain contact with the cue. It's a very common reason for bridge hand movement, and I've seen bridge hand movement disappear instantly as soon as a player goes slightly higher above the cushion. And then, as you get better, you'll be able to 30, 40 break, you'll be able to go a bit closer to the cushion. 50, 60 break players can go a bit lower again. Some of the professionals are very, very low, but their queuing is good enough and reliable enough and flat enough that that doesn't compromise their delivery. So, test different heights above the cushion and find out which allows you to queue the cleanest and the most reliably without this tipping error when the cue hits the cushion.